chant and drum, we promise and solemnly proclaim that when we assemble at powwows, festivals, work or play, that we dedicate a moment as we pray to smudge with cedar, sweetgrass, smoke and sage to the memory of those dear lost children who lie in unmarked graves. My name is Kevin Howes. My passion in putting together the Native North America project was to learn more about indigenous music makers that lived across Canada, people that were cutting incredible records in the 60s. And I'd been traveling across the country trying to learn more about Canadian music and I'd find a record. And one by one I started to reach out to these artists to ask for context. The artists featured on Native North America had a hard time breaking through in a lot of cases into the mainstream music scene and into the mass media. And, and unfortunately, it seems like, you know, some of those struggles are still with us today. It's still a challenge for these artists, even the veteran ones, to get gigs and to, uh, even with the help of the internet, to have their music heard. Uh, you have to work really hard. Uh, I think you've, even going back in the 60s and 70s, racism was a factor, why indigenous artists weren't featured alongside their peers of other backgrounds. Um, it was once very regional as well, so I think these things are starting to change. There's a greater awareness. I'm really uh, proud to say that the, the artists on Native North America and their peers by, by association were nominated for a Grammy Award this year. So that things like that really start the ball rolling. We came here to the Winnipeg Folk Festival and it's one of the greatest experiences of this summer and I really enjoy coming here, meeting the people, and friends that I haven't seen for so many years, like all the performers that were there today. I'm very happy to uh, be experiencing this whole thing again after a good 10 years. I felt very proud uh, to be there today. Some of these artists were singing about their love songs. There's, there's all sorts of songs, but there's songs about the destruction of the environment, about corporate greed, and about traditions. And, and some of the songs are, are sung in native languages as well, like Anuktitut. And, and there's some music in Cree as well. There's so much to share and we were able to do transcriptions and translations for the non-native language speaking people as well, which was really edifying to learn what these artists were singing about. The way I start a song is like when I get in a really good environment, a really good feeling, like around here, the power of the people here. Listen, listen to the music, listen to the people that's got their freedom to, to be who they want to be, to listen to the music they want to listen to and look, look at them walking free and feeling the music of uh, Native North and, uh, and, and being part of this uh, Winnipeg Folk Festival. It's for me is a labor of love and it's, it's something that's continuing so I'm just playing my small role and part in, in this and I, and I hope it, it's, it's a positive thing. We want this to be a positive thing for everyone involved and it has been so far. I'm so blessed to have met some of my musical heroes and to help raise awareness about their music in the process. It was such an honor to meet Shingus, Duke Redberg, Willie Dunn and Eric Laundry. It just brought back memories from the uh, 70s and 80s back to my spirit and now we're on fire again. The young musicians, I would advise them to always keep writing, keep writing, don't be discouraged uh, and don't try to write when you're feeling uh, down all the time. I write about birch bark blowing in the wind, uh, stuff like that, uh, beaver tail slapping the water, that's the kind of things I like to write about. Uh, creating pictures in, in people's minds. It was uh, one of the most historical feeling of my life. I never dreamed once that this would happen to me. I never dreamed that all of these people, you know, would come see us all together. But uh, being here together today, it's a very historical moment and of my life. I will never forget this. Well, I'd just like to thank the artists, all of the artists featured on Native North America because without their music and their trailblazing efforts back in the day, uh, this would not be possible. I'm honored to have met you and to have worked with you. And if you hear of any of these artists coming to your town, come out and say hello and support them. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.